Okay then, so this is the Valkyrie John 280mm AIO in terms of what comes in the box. So let's take a look. So you get a big, very big, thick manual. And then obviously you get that, the foam. Then you get the all the included black tape. You get okay, so you get that is for that's AMD, that is Intel, which I'm assuming is 2011 socket. This for you then is just the screws for the radiator. Um, then you got the back plate, which is rather nice. You get the actual screws to mount it. It would be easier this way because you're using the included back plate. Get this tiny tube of Valkyrie thermal paste. And then you get a ARGB header, which does go off to this pretty cable. But here which does go to the included ARGB hub, which is very very good because you've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six RGB fans, and then you've got six four pin PWM support. So you could fit up as many fans as you want. Put that, put there, that. Then, of course, then we've got the pump housing by here, which is it's got the Valkyrie branding underneath the little screen. It's got a co plate, which is copper. Of course, very nice tubing, very long cables, unfortunately, by here, which is. Ooh! The pump is four pin. Wait. The pump has got a four pin PWM. Wow! First one I've seen it. Then we've got one AHP header. Of course, then this is a 280, so you get two. 140 millimeter fans. I don't know if this is actually gonna make any of the airflow any bit any worse because of that type of structure, but we'll have to see that in testing. Obviously, there's the ARGB, and then it is a four pin PWN fan, and of course, there's the other one, and then it comes with the radiator, of course, it does, which has got the Valkyrie branding on it. Which I will say looks rather striking. So let's get this tested. Okay, then this is the John 280mm AIO from Valkyrie. This is at 50% fan speed. At fan speed. 100% fan speed. As you can hear, it's rather loud. Right then, so for the thermals, I run my normal set of benchmark tools. I use Cinebench, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. Now I've done two different types of test. The 5900X out of the box settings with nothing adjusted in the BIOS, that means no XMP or PBO enabled. So Cinebench R23, the idles were 32 Celsius and the max was a 64 Celsius. Blender Classroom, 33 Celsius at idle and 62 Celsius at max. Blender BMW, the idles are 33 Celsius and the max was a 60. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 33 Celsius and the max was a 67 Celsius. Now this was at stock settings which it draws about 139 watts. Now, 
with XMP and PBO enabled, it went up to as high as 185 watts. So, Cinebench R23, the idle was a 34 Celsius. The Max was a 78 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius and the Max was 77 Celsius. Blender BMW, idles were 34 Celsius, Max was 77 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 34 and the Max was 69. Very nice Celsius. That it was at 185 watts. Okay, so you've heard the overall noise of the fans. Yes, they're louder 100%, but 50% they're not bad. You've seen the thermals. Yeah, it performed just, it performed well. I haven't tested a 280mm uh, AIO for two years. The last one I did was a Corsair 280. So, yeah, it's been a long time. I forgot how good 280s are because they're that middle ground between a 240 and a 360. And honestly, if you've got the room in your case, then, of course, I'd suggest either. Valkyrie, they are a new uh, brand over in Cyprus and Europe. So, yes, and you've probably seen the overall CPU cooler review I did as well. That blew my mind because of the overall design and the aesthetics but let's get back to this now the rgb aesthetics fantastic as you know i love my rgb i love the simplicity of rgb you can change it to whatever color you want you can even turn it off but i do like the pump housing at first glance it does look like it had a little fan which a little bit of a missing thing opportunity there to put her own fan but saying that for a 280 it's not actually bad this is part of their budget line of products they've got another tier and then they've got their high tier so this is the lowest end one but i will say the overall design of it i like the valkyrie branding on the radiator itself and i do overall like the branding itself valkyrie it, it takes me to you know like the vikings and stuff so i really do love love the overall brand in there i think it's a fantastic brand name the aesthetics are there the performance is there yeah it's louder 100 percent. but if you don't care about loud noises then that's really up to you me personally that but this is my opinion so take it with a grain of salt i don't like loud air coolers or aios but that's me if you guys don't mind it being a bit bit more louder so you can get a bit better performance then really that's up to you so don't forget to subscribe a big shout out to valkyrie thank you again i hope to continue this collaboration in the near future and this is rich for welsh tech good bye